As the saying goes, your network is your net worth. And this can make such a big difference. The people that you surround yourself with, the people that you have in your, your inner circle, your mastermind, the people that you go into partnerships with, maybe um, joint ventures with, they can make such a big difference on the ultimate outcome of your business. And therefore, this is something that you want to really think about really closely. The, who are the right people? Who are the wrong people? If you get this wrong, it can make such a big, a big, big difference between success and failure of the actual goals that you have. So in this video, I wanted to share with you 16 sort of core values, 16 personality traits that you should want to have around uh, your inner circle, around your mastermind group. And this is something that I personally focus on whenever I'm building relationships, whenever I'm um, developing friendships, whenever we are developing and, and growing our mastermind group, our inner circle group, and even when I'm thinking about going into partnerships with people, joint ventures with, with people, I'm always thinking about these sort of personality traits because they can make such a huge difference. If you do enjoy this video, please consider hitting that a thumbs up button. Please share down below what you look for in mastermind members. You know, I think about um, my inner circle members, uh, the people that I've surrounded myself with over the last six years, and some of them have made such a significant impact in my life, and some of them have not. Some of them have made a negative impact in my life, and therefore, it's super, super important for you to protect this and 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 ensure that you're able to have direct communication around these types of topics. Because if you can't have those um, honest conversations with your inner circle or your mastermind or potential people that are around you, then you've got to make sure that you protect yourself, okay? So let's get started. So the first thing that I, I look for, the, the, the first thing is trust, okay? The first is trust. The people that you are actually surrounding yourself with, your inner circle, your mastermind, your business partners, the first one, you've got to be able to trust that person. If, if they do anything that jeopardizes the trust that you have, going behind your back, talking about anything, or they, they take an action that is in conflict of the trust, then it's super important that you ultimately, you, you've got to distance yourself from those people. Because if they're willing to go against the trust that you have, the relationship that you have, then that is a big, big red flag that you need to ensure that you protect yourself, okay? That goes to any type of relationship. If they do ever do anything to jeopardize that trust, you need to be able to confront it, talk about it, and if they can't accept your perspective on why they've gone against that, then it, it's time to, to walk away. And there's no point in, in, in trying. Do you see what I'm saying? Because if, if you're, these people are your ride or dies. These people will go to the ends of the earth. So I've, I've, my inner circle members, my mastermind members, my friends, I will go to the ends of the earth to protect my friends. If I can support any resource that I have, any support that I, I could give to them, if I would want to be there. And because I, I trust them, they, they, I've got their back. And if they, if, you know, if, they, if they jeopardize that, or if, if I ever did that, then I would expect that conversation. So that's the first one. The second one then is confidentiality. Uh, confidentiality okay? This is you know, what you talk about stays private. What you talk about, what you share, it, it's, it's about having that confidentiality. You know, the things that you talk about shouldn't be public public. You don't want to be going around and telling everybody about it. You don't want to be gossiping. You don't want, you don't want to go against it. It's slightly against the, the trust. You know, have that uh, confidentiality of what you talk about. You might talk about with your mastermind, your inner circle, your business partners. You talk about stuff that should just be between you or shouldn't leave a room. And that is super, super important to defend. Okay. 
this is something that over the years I've spoken to people, I've, I've, I've been in, confided in, I've confided in my friends, in, in my mastermind members, my inner circle members, and that's where it stays. I expect that, and I 100% expect that upon me too. Okay, so um, confidentiality. The next one, the number three, is accessibility. Okay, accessibility. This is, are you there? Are you accessible if they need you? If, if they need something, if it's an emergency, are you there? One of the things that I do with uh, my personal inner circle members and my mastermind, my real inner, inner group that I have, because of the trust, because we are ride or die, I, I, I give my, my personal mobile number. I've got my inner circle members. Like, if you need me, if there's an emergency, if you need to get me on the phone, you give me a call. I will pick up, unless I'm in an emergency myself, but I will pick up and I'll say, is this an emergency? Do you need me immediately? I will stop the, the meeting that I have, the work that I'm doing. I might be out in the warehouse. I might be at trade show. I might be anywhere. But if, if you need me, I'm there. Accessibility is absolutely paramount. It's super, super important. It's, it's a real core value and attribute as well. Um, the fourth thing that I look for is, is con are they contribution focused? Like, is a core value about contributing, um, making, a, making a difference to others, being able to share, make a difference. Um, this is, you know, you, you want people to, to, to want to contribute to others and, and share with others and make a difference in other people's lives, whether that is, you know, contributing to different causes or they actually contribute to your mastermind, sharing ideas, sharing insights, sharing what you're working on. If they're confiding that, if they're hiding that, if they are um, against that, then you don't want that part of your inner circle, your mastermind. You don't, you want to distance yourself. If they're not willing to share with you, then then don't, you know, you just, you don't want that in a part of your, your inner circle, okay? Um, number five I have here is never ending learner. We're, we're never ending the journey of growth. We're never ending the skills that we can learn, we can progress, we can adapt. And when you come from a growth mindset, those people that you want to surround yourself with, you know, fixed mindsets can have a negative impact on you that they're, they're just not willing to be open minded. They're not wanting to grow. They're not wanting to whatever the situation may be. But you want to surround yourself with people that are growing, that are progressing, that are energetic. They're inspired. They're motivated to take massive action every single day. So a big part of that is actually learning. OK, number six is attention to detail attention to detail. One of the things that I've always focused on is attention to detail, not just with my business operations, my systems and my de developing, but also attention to detail of your mastermind peers, your, your inner circle members. I try my best to have attention to detail in everything that I do. You know, whether that is somebody's birthday, whether that is sending a message, sending a letter, whatever it might be, just attention to detail, making the experience a lot more rich. If, if somebody's got some, um, I don't know, the, an, a new, uh, they're celebrating something or a, a, a new item or a new hair, haircut, you know, attention to detail, just be aware of that know different personalities that you've got around you and, and know if somebody's slightly different and and ask them are you, are you okay it's that attention to detail that can make such a difference and that's what you want a part of your your inner circle right your partners the business partners that you go into war with battle with every single day number eight uh, seven sorry is respect right respect each other Respect somebody else's wishes, respect their boundaries, respect what they believe in, respect. You've got to have that respect for one another. If they don't respect you, then they're going to maybe go against your trust. If they're going to go against your trust, you can't be, you know, from a confidentiality point of view. If they're accessible, you know, all these things go in together. That's ultimately makes a big difference. Um, number eight is you've got each other's backs. Right, you've got each other's backs. It's super important to be there. That's accessible. Uh, you've got each other's backs. Like, if any of my inner circle members needed me, 
if I had to be on a call, if I had to travel, if I had to be there, um, anything. We've got each other's backs. We're ride or die. If, it, if I had to, um, if we had to, you know, help them out in a business situation, send resources their way, whatever resource it might be, any of our team members, any of our, uh, if, we, if we need to help them financially, whatever it is, we've got each other's backs. I've always said that to um, anybody that I try to build a great relationship with, because, you know, if, if I've got your back, we've got each other's backs. We've got respect for one another. We want to help each of us grow. We want to share. We, we never end in learning. We, we're, we're accessible with one another. This is a, such a, a great trait to have around you. Number nine is dependable. Dependable. You know, if you are dependable on, if you're in a circle member, if they know that you're dependable, if you've got people around you, your close friends, the people, uh, your business partner, you can depend on each other. If you've got a task to do, you're doing this, they're doing that, you can depend that they've got that covered. You focus on what you've got to do. That can make such a difference in your, you know, who you decide to do business with. If, if they're not, then it's something that you want to get a, away from too. You know, we've, sp we've spoken about some serious things. Also, we've got fun and humble, right? We, we want to introduce fun in there. You've got to have a bit of lightheartedness in there. I know we talked about respect and trust and, and accessibility, but you also want to have some fun and be humble, right? I remember my upbringings. I'll always remember my upbringings. I'll remember anybody. Like, I know where I've come from. I know... I know what it's taken for us to get to even where we are, and we haven't even started yet, but I'll never ever forget that, and I remember it. I've created vlogs about it. I've created uh, videos about it, and you've got to have that fun and humbleness around the culture of your inner circle, right? Stay grounded. Always focus on the, the mission in hand, and always remember you know, remember where you're from. That makes such a difference. And have fun, right? Have a joke, have a laugh. That, when it's serious time, you're serious, but you can also have a bit of banter between your inner circle and your, and your peer group as well. Um, number 11, massive action, right? They take massive action. Your inner circle, your mastermind group, they take massive action. That's what it's all about. I mean, I've always said, take massive action every day. And that's what you want to be around. It's contagious. It's building that momentum. You take massive action every single day. Um, uh, and that's the people that you want to surround yourself with. Next one is they believe in systems, systemization of their businesses. When you're talking about building systems, when you start to talk about building something from start, you know, from nothing to something, it's all about, in my opinion, it's all about the belief in systems. And if you've got that around you and the systems you're learning from other people's systems and the, how they operate, that makes a big difference in your partnerships, in your inner circle, in your mastermind. Uh, four more, we have, they believe in superstar team building. Your inner circle, your partners, your mastermind, they believe in team building. You can't do everything yourself. I'm not a one-man band, I've got a great team behind me, and the people that are in my inner circle, they also believe that you know, teamwork make the, makes the dream work. And it's not all about me, it's about we. It's not about I, it's about us together, collective as a team. And um, if you surround yourself with other people that believe in empowering their team and making a difference to their team's lives and growing in skill set, that makes a big difference. And you wanna be around that, a part of your inner circle. The next one is, I love this one, long-term patience, short-term urgency. This comes down to taking massive action every day, but knowing that the ultimate visions that you have, the mission that you're all on, you've got to be patient. It might take you five years, 10 years, it might take you two decades, three decades to get to where you want to be, but all of you Together, a part of your inner circle, a part of your mastermind group, a part of your business partners, you're all in it for the long term. But you're urgent every single day. You're there, you're accessible, you're ready to take massive action, you're systemizing, you're, you're building teams, you're, you, you've got that trust, you've got that respect, and you're on it. Long term 
patient's short-term urgency. The last two is Partnerships, you're open up for your partnerships. If you've got business partnerships that you're wanting to do with your inner circle or your mastermind group, your friends, you know, you're open to partnerships, win-win-win situations. It, you don't go against that trust, that respect. You're willing to, to develop partners with each other. Over the years, I've created some great partners with some great people that I call my friends. I've also created some partners and I've ex had experiences where people have gone against this. And therefore, this is something that I've got to protect. This is something that I always protect. And it's so important to, to ensure that you're fully aware of this. And then if somebody goes against this, then it's fine. They do, they do them, right? You, go back, you focus on the mission at hand and you keep pushing forward. And the last thing that I have here is ultimately all about opportunities. You know, you share opportunities, you share the growth, you share what you're trying to do, you share, you're always sharing, you're giving opportunity out to people, you're giving opportunity out to your mastermind group, your inner circle group, that's what this is all about. Entrepreneurship is about you growing, it's about if you learn something like um, a new book, a new program, a new seminar, you're sharing, you're sharing, you're giving opportunities. If Maybe if you get some work and you can't handle this right now, you share it, you go, maybe I can I give you my inner circle member, my partner, he, maybe he or she can look after this, okay? So I just wanted to share this quick video about, um, you know, personality traits, people that you want to surround yourself with in your inner circle. Um, I watched this great video from uh, Value Entertainment or Value Tainment. Um, it was really, really great to me. I, I developed my inner circle and I thought, okay, we've got core values of our own, uh, massive action, superstar team building systems, and I wanted to share that with you. So um, comment down below, let me know some of the personality traits that you look for in your inner circle. Do you have an inner circle? Do you have friends or mastermind peers that you can depend on? What, what, it, what, do, you, what do you look for in mastermind members? What do you look for in inner circle members or business partners? I'd love to know. Comment down below. If you didn't like this, please, please give it a big thumbs up. Please consider hitting that subscribe button and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Until next time, always take massive action in your business. Bye-bye.